Father, thank you for this opportunity uh, that we have to hear your word. We pray that, Lord, as we speak, that you give us utterance and that your spirit is going to come upon us. And everybody will understand the message. Make it so clear so that a young child can understand it in the name of Jesus Christ. And everybody says, Amen. 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 Now, faith is going to be a series that I will do for some time. Uh, and this is because I feel that that's what the Lord wants you to learn. You are where you are because of what you know. Are you listening to me? And then you have the experiences you have depending on the wisdom you have of what you know. You know, what you know, how do you put it into practice? the practical ways of putting what you know into practice then that makes you a wise person because some people have are puffed up with knowledge but they don't know how to activate the knowledge and that is why Ken Kibuja said I activated my faith so that means that there was something practical that he did that brought about the results that he got so you will only get the results you want to get depending on how practical you are in terms of application of what you know and i want you to know that god is going to deposit something in your life that will change your life forever now faith is a very broad subject books have been written about it i don't know of any man of god who has never spoken about faith but today i want to share with you different angles of faith that will bless your life first of all we are going to know to, to look at what faith can do before even we go to what is this faith you know we are going to look at what faith can do for you but before i do that let me just give you a simple definition of the word faith now this faith is believing just believing when you say have faith you say believe just believe you know it sounds easy to tell somebody believe but many people struggle with believing especially believing something that you don't have proof of are you listening to me so like I believe that God will supply my needs how I don't I don't have proof but I just have uh, that belief I believe that Jesus died on the cross were you there no did you see him no i have just come to a place where i believe that that actually happened do you understand i believe that jesus is a son of god i believe that uh, uh, that he's coming back again i believe that there is a heaven there is a hell have you been there no i have not seen it but I believe so that aspect is a very difficult aspect in many people's lives but I want to say this if you want to live a life that is extraordinary an extraordinary life you must move out of the reality of the way things are supposed to be done according to the world and enter into another special way of life and that is the life of faith the life of faith the life of faith makes you like a magician the life of faith makes you look like almost uh, uh, like a, 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 a supernatural human uh, or being a supernatural being somebody who doesn't live within the economy of that nation you don't live within the politics of that nation are you listening to me so it doesn't matter which tribe is the leader of the nation or not it doesn't matter whether the economy is low or the economy is high it doesn't matter what matters is, it matters is your faith your faith what do you believe so faith is believing believing and in this case we are talking about believing in god believing in god i pray that after this series your life will move seven steps higher yeah 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 because you'll stop living based on your papers based on your education you know you will go to school you will you will you will be educated you will be employed but you will see that your life will be a higher kind of life and it is possible i don't know why you don't believe these things 
your life can be a higher life yeah you can have a higher life amen a higher life that does not live by your salary a higher life that does not live by your employment you're employed but they can't explain how so faith is also trusting faith is also trusting in something or oh God when you say I am a man of faith you're saying you are trusting God I trust God I trust him I trust him with my life I trust him with my marriage I trust him with my children do you understand and when you look at some people you can see that these people actually don't trust God yeah, 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 yeah. You can see that how you behave, how you 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 treat your children like eggs, is a clear sign that you don't trust. That actually, there's you want to do it yourself. How you treat your husband with suspicion, and 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 you become like a like um uh, uh, FBI, FBI, CD, DCI. <laughs> Your NIS always investigating him. It is because you don't trust that actually God can take care of this man and control him. So you see that a lot of us we say we are Christians, but we lack the main element that makes Christianity different. And what element is that? Faith. Faith is complete trust. I mean like I trust God that he will never fail me I trust him that he will not allow me to go hungry I trust him that I will find school fees hey, but pastor how what are what are the things you are doing I don't know I just trust I have faith in God hallelujah may you receive that that thing in your spirit mm, and what i'm speaking is not something i've read it is something i live by faith yeah and 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 i live by faith i, I mean it's amazing you can live that life too hallelujah so what are the what are the things that when you begin to walk by faith what will happen to you what will start happening to you what what are the changes that will take in uh, 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 place in your life would you like to know what happens yeah when i change my mind i say look what i've been trusting on my business i've been putting my trust on my own strength i've been putting trust on my parents i've been putting trust on uh, 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 education i put my my, my my trust on my uncle who lives in um, minnesota <laughs> and he is a minnesota buyer you know yeah i put my trust on bonga points i put my trust on on fuliza i put i mean i know that the bank will take care of me ladies and on my job and that is why you see some people when they lose job they become devastated because they, they, they don't know that hey your faith is not in the job you're doing your hope is not in that job yeah so what will happen to you would you like to know I have six points today so I hope that uh, you'll be able to receive them yeah faith changes everything yeah you see when 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 you pray for example it's a sign of faith yeah it's like it's that's why many people don't pray or their prayer is just a superficial prayer it's not deep it's a religious prayer you know you say oh our father what in heaven oh hello where be thy name even as i'm praying that our father i still feel like i want to go deeper in our father what in heaven because i have so much faith that is there and he's listening and i'm communing with him but you see some of you it's a recital it's a recital that is why you have never seen the true effects of god's power in our lives and that is why some of us we can never receive anything from god oh yeah l l can i read it for you a scripture james chapter um, um james uh or romans actually i don't know whether it's romans james chapter one verse eight i think 
if I'm not wrong. The Bible says that if any one of you lacks wisdom, blah, 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 eight, one eight, brother. Huh? Okay, let's start from verse five then. Okay, that, now look at this scripture. If any one of you lacks wisdom, wisdom, which is another, another wild blessing that you can have in your life, if you can just receive, and you see, to receive this wisdom also, you need faith. <laughs> so anyone who lacks wisdom, and wisdom is the principal thing. It is far, far more precious than gold and silver. So if you have wisdom, you have gold, you have silver. It's like you get wisdom, you get everything. So the Bible says somebody who lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. So it takes faith to ask a God you cannot see. You close your eyes, you say, you pray for one hour to somebody who's not responding to you. And the Bible says this God gives to all liberally without reproach and it will be given to him verse 6 but let him ask in what in faith with no doubting with no doubting doubting for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind that is why you cannot find stability because you are not fully persuaded about what you are involved in for example in the faith in the christianity you're involved in you are tossed like this wind but uh, like the waves of the sea driven and tossed by the wind and then the so you ask in faith and then continue for let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord and but why is it that I've never received anything anything I have I have to really struggle I have to ask for loans because of your doubts so the Bible says let not that man suppose the man who prays and doubts you can even pray and still doubt the Bible says don't expect anything from the Lord verse 8 why because he is double minded a man who is unstable in all his ways that is why many people cannot walk by faith they are unstable in all their ways so number one why do we how what do we benefit from when we have faith what do we get number one the greatest of them all is salvation faith brings you into the kingdom of God listen to me you're watching me you cannot be saved until you believe you believe in Jesus you must believe that he's the Lord and Savior if you're still wondering is it Muhammad is it Buddha is it whatever you are a double-minded man and you're unstable in all your ways oh do I really have to be born again oh I think I got saved when I was a child you are a double-minded person so for you to be born again the first great blessing and I want you to know today salvation is the best gift that you can ever have it is better than money is better than cars better than wife salvation is the best gift so faith the first thing it does it moves you from the world do you understand and brings you into the kingdom of God what does that mean it means that you are on your way to hell but because you have now believed in Christ and his salvation he has now translated you from going to hell now you're on your way to heaven that is how powerful faith is faith moves you from hell to heaven salvation it cleanses you that is why people who are not sure whether I'm born again or not, they still feel guilty, they still feel condemned, they still feel like I have to do certain things to become certain things. No, 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 but if you believe that I am born again, and why am I born again? Because I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and I don't feel anything, but he has entered my life. And so as he has entered, Satan has left. 
So now who am I? I am a new creature. So that is why I'm a new creature. So now you meet somebody and you say, I am born again. Hey, what they, they laugh at you, but you say, I'm a new creature. The things I used to do, I don't do them no more. So you cannot actually be born again without faith. You cannot enter heaven without faith. You cannot have a relationship with Jesus without faith. Yeah, I'm going there. <laughs> so Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Wonderful. So being saved is not to shamba. No, it's an act of faith. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we are not like people who are bored with life or have many problems. No, it's just that we have been told for by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. So salvation is a gift and you must receive it. You must accept it. So when you say I'm a born again Christian, I love Jesus as my personal savior. Does it mean you don't have struggles? No, but it means that now you are at a better place of dealing with your struggles because it is no longer I that liveth, but Christ that lives in me. Ah, I prefer that. Life is so difficult by yourself. Are you listening to me? Look at John chapter 11. Today I have many scriptures, my friend, to show you that this whole thing about Christianity is, is Bible, is, is faith. Faith. So for you to be born again, to be born again, to be saved, you must have faith. John 11, 25 and 26. Give me the Neil 11 translation. We'll see how it looks like. Yeah. So the Bible says, Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. <laughs> am I talking to somebody in the house? So even if you die and you are born again, you will live again. That is the faith I have. I believe that this is Jesus talking to a lady. He says, I'm the resurrection and the life. Yeah, so that is why the most sad death is the death of somebody who is a non-believer. Non-believer. Why are you called a non-believer? Because you don't believe. Yeah. So believer, we have believers and non-believer. So you can actually say, I'm a believer. Why are you a believer? I have accepted Christ as my personal savior. Verse 26, the Bible says, everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never ever die. And then he asked mother, do you believe this, mother? And I'm talking to you, you're watching me. Do you believe this? Salvation is by faith. So that is why I don't need to prove to you. I don't need to bring Jesus to you. I don't need to take you to hell. I don't need to tell you where is hell and where is heaven. No, 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 no. Belief, I believe. I have no evidence. I have no um, uh, uh, explanation. It's, uh, I don't have tangible way of explaining it. I just believe. Yeah. John chapter 3 verse 16. John chapter 3 verse 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think? At home, are you listening to me? You are a believer. You are not a normal person. And don't ever be fooled that somebody who does not believe is the same with you. A man who walks by faith and a man who walks by sight are not the same. And that is why if you keep trying to explain yourselves to non-believers, you are wasting your air and your mouth and your saliva. Yeah, you can't explain to an energy and arguing with them. Is an explain unexplainable unless they believe and join us and experience what we experience for themselves. 
you can't experience faith for somebody else it has to be your own experience yeah. so look at this for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes believes yoyote aminie yoyote anybody a child a grown up an old man a woman a, a, an indian a, a, a chinese whoever believes the ticket is believing faith whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life that's the power of faith it makes you move from death to life everlasting life oh yeah i keep i have been telling people the work that will remain is the work of jesus the church yeah you can see people are closing shop yeah uh, hotels are closing down whatever and, no, and people have been told no work go schools have closed but as we have been working from the day it was uh, before it was announced when it was announced when it is ongoing we have been working working for the savior working for jesus just because we believe in him we have life we work for the Lord all day long <laughs> work for the Lord work for the Lord work for the Lord all day long that is why the greatest person in your life is a person who feeds your faith the person who tells you serve the Lord oh, yes. the person who tells you you are gonna go to heaven Amen. the person who tells you that Jesus is alive Amen. look at the first benefit it's so mind-blowing like I was a normal guy I was on my way to hell I was an ordinary Jama in the Mta but because of faith somebody just shared with me about Jesus I said okay I believe him I believe in him okay let me receive Jesus and look at me now my whole life has been changed because of walking with Jesus what a change yeah we it's not like we have not gone to school we have gone to school but because of our belief in Jesus we, this Jesus we believe that we are supposed to serve him we believe that we are supposed to move all over the world preaching I have gone to many countries not because of I'm a doctor medicine and all that I've gone to preach because I have believed in Jesus that's what it does to you number two number two I feel like screaming hey! I believe in Jesus yeah work for the Lord all day long I told you number two because of time yeah <laughs> your bundles your Wi-Fi <laughs> beautiful faith is your access to the supernatural world faith is your access to the supernatural world let me tell you there is a supernatural world yeah there is a supernatural world and that what does the word supernatural mean let it not throw you off balance it means you are a natural person then a something super comes on you do you understand like superman you can now fly you can do what other human beings cannot do that is what supernatural is so you want to enter into a supernatural world you must enter by faith so that is what hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 it says but without faith it is impossible to please him please who god so you can't please him without faith without believing and then he says for he who comes to God he who comes to God must believe 
that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him so what is this reward this reward is the supernatural life yeah if you come to God in faith and you believe and then you seek him he says I will reward you and what are the rewards of God supernatural life supernatural life supernatural life supernatural provisions supernatural business growth supernatural marriage like what is naturally difficult because of of your belief in God he rewards you with super super on the natural my God father we want your supernatural power of our lives look at this look at this scripture John 738 John 738 yeah this is Jesus words of Jesus my Jesus my Lord mm, my Savior you know there is a time I was working I we wanted to uh, do our balcony and uh, it was one of my scariest um, I used to feel like hey are we going to really uh, slap this thing because it was very expensive our our balcony so I, I I told God you know I stood there and I told God I believe in you reward my belief in you because this is just belief I'm believing in you reward my belief I couldn't believe it when we slapped it debt free believe eh, but it's because you are a pastor my friend listen listen stop shut up shut up don't say those things this is available to you the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever whosoever you are included whosoever believes in him will not perish in poverty will not perish in in lack will not perish in joblessness no whosoever believes will not perish yeah <laughs> so go back to my scripture so look at john 7 38 he who believes in me as the scriptures has said he who not pastors who believe in me no he who we have many pastors who don't have faith many they don't believe even when they come to me some of them they ask me what are you doing to grow the church what are you good doing for this i say i believe i mean it's god they say i ah, know i know god okay tell me another thing you do but it's just believe 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 i feel like entering the the, the, the camera and coming to your house and tapping you tapping you I, who is watching i want to go there and just tap you and tell you my friend you can change the surrounding of your house just by believing god you begin to believe god i am not going to be poor you start believing god i'm not going to be a useless person you start believing god and you start making practical steps so he says he who believes in me as the scripture has said out of his heart out of his where heart will flow rivers of living water have you ever seen rivers of living water flowing from a human being no it's a supernatural thing <laughs> yeah river nyando is flowing out of your heart or Tarakanidhi river i don't hope there are those rivers uh, pastor charles you know sometimes you tell me things i don't believe Huh? River Nkoroi, River Zambezi, out of, if the Bible says, he who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart. That is why I believe everywhere I go, I must bring life. Everywhere I go, I'm a, it's a faith I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like somebody should bring life to me. No, no, no. I feel like I am a source of life. Yeah. So when I come around you people, you must have life. Hey, I pray 
for somebody here today. May you, I pull your life from the ordinary to the supernatural. I will pull your life from the natural to the supernatural. A life of faith. A life where rivers of living water flow out of you. A life where you send money like without thinking, without calculating. You send people money, say, take this 2,000 eat. Take this 1,000 eat. Yeah, without thinking, because you're, you're sure that even as I distribute, I have a river that is flowing in me, the river of life. What is money? Look at you, you have to calculate. Take a coin, uh, whatever, calculator, you're walking in the supermarket, you are calculating, you say, no, remove this. You can start like that, but as your faith is growing, you begin to see the rivers of living waters are flowing through you. Shamanda Kabaya. Sit down, yeah, yeah. That is how I have always lived. I remember one time I, I wanted a car, I just walked into a, a car bus. I didn't have a shilling, no shilling, no shilling, just me. I walked, I saw this nice Mercedes Benz, yeah, you know, I opened it, I, I mean I ignited it, Boom. no money. I moved around it, then I asked how much. Then the figure he gave me, I said, hey, that's too much. I said, this is my offer. I didn't have the money. I said, this is my offer. I gave an offer. Then he said, ah, no, 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 even tomorrow somebody is coming. So I laid hands on it. I said, this car is my car. And I left. Pastor Marcia, I remember, I think she was pregnant with either the first child or the second, I don't know but she was pregnant. So, after uh, like two or three months, the guy, I left him. I, I laid hands on the car, I said, this is my car. And I left. Yeah, two months, the car has not gone. I think the guy called me, just when Pastor Masi had, you know, been blessed with the baby. And then I said, oh no, sorry, you can sell it. I don't want it now, man, I have a baby, you know, doubt no no he said nobody buys the car they say they are coming they never come pastor come back and take the car what was your offer okay that offer is okay come let's discuss yeah. <laughs> so i said i'll think about it i didn't have even the money of the offer so i called somebody i said let's go and negotiate for this car then when we went with the guy the guy said, I've come with my checkbook. I'll write the first installment for the car. Yeah. And then I don't know either somebody else said, oh, hard. Pastor Jimmy is buying this car. I said, oh, I've paid this. I've paid that. When I left like this, it was fully paid. Yeah. Supernatural. I had no money in the account. Actually, I drove the car to my father. And when he saw it, he said, hey, how are you going to be fueling the car? I say, if God gives me the car, he gives me the fuel. I am praying for, for bustings of miracles in Harvest Family Church. Anybody who is going to be listening to me, you're, there is going to be like, uh, what do you call it? Like, yeah, a of springs, springs of miracles, like popcorns. It's going to pop up pew, pew, pew. everywhere, the place, everywhere. People are going to start having things that they never thought that they can have because of the supernatural kind of life that God has called us to live. Look at Mark chapter 11, verse 24. My time is gone, so sorry guys. And I have, I have only done two points. Mark 11. Faith, faith, faith. Yeah. That's why many people can't pay tithes. It's because they don't believe. Yeah, they calculate everything. Look, I can give you testimonies. And the person who remembers most of those testimonies is Pastor Massey. But I can tell you times we have cleared our bank account. Why are you clearing the bank account? God has spoken to me. Ah, 
Can God tell you that? Yes. <laughs> Does he tell everybody that? No. But for you, he can tell you. Because of what he wants to bring out of you. And also, God wants to expose you to a supernatural life. That's what you, many people don't know. So, look at Mark 11, 24. The Bible says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask, when you pray, whatever things things you ask when you pray believe that you have you will receive them and you will have them is that natural that's not natural that you believe what you have asked and then you receive it and you have them but where is it i just believe i have them i have received it <laughs> supernatural so faith is your access to the supernatural world. Do you want to live a supernatural life? Oh, I'm asking you a question. Do you want to live a supernatural life? Yeah. By faith. Forget about this thing of looking at people. Looking at Pastor Jimmy is my source. No, 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 no. Look at God. Oh, yeah. If Pastor Jimmy can just pay me this much, that will be the end. You'll only receive that and then that's it. That is your, that's your level. Yeah, but if your faith is in God, he ushers you into the supernatural world. Supernatural world. Supernatural world. The world of the supernatural. Beautiful. Do you want another one? Number three. Number three. Supernatural. Supernatural. I want somebody to join faith with me right now. That God will usher you into the supernatural world stretch your hands towards me right now on the screen father i pray that from today every spirit of doubt is dead we kill it and i pray that you will pull these guys out of a natural life into the supernatural i will, I will even be i want to go higher in the supernatural life in the name of jesus christ somebody shout amen yeah Look, don't say Pastor Jim is preaching this message. He's just uh, trying to excite the people. He's just trying to make uh, the people his false hope. What, what is false hope? Hope is hope. And we have hope in God. Yeah, you can't have hope in God and you call it false. Because God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above all that you may think or even ask. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I'm going to believe God that many of you, you'll buy nice cars, you will start companies, you will be married, you will believe it. Live a supernatural life. Yeah, even to stay without fornicating until uh, you, you get to marry the person is a supernatural life. Yeah, I believe that I will not fornicate. I will walk my wife down the aisle. That is, that is, that is, that is faith. <laughs> yeah. As a lady, you say, I will be walked down the aisle by a believer, as, as somebody who also believes, a strong believer. Yeah. And then from there, you see what will happen. <laughs> Number three. Faith. Faith. It brings you into blessedness. It brings you into a life of blessedness. It brings you into a life of what? Blessedness. What is this life of blessedness? It's, a, it's also another supernatural life. Yeah. A blessed person is a completely different person from somebody who's not blessed. Under all circumstances. To be blessed is to be uh, conditioned under all unfavorable circumstances to prosper and to succeed. So it's COVID-19, but you're doing well. Why? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yeah. If you have ever called me, one of my main answers is, how are you doing? I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Oh.
God is called to be blessed. I shall shall prosper. cannot even say it they can't say it because when they look around they feel hey where's the blessing or you're even afraid of somebody asking you hey, you say you are blessed where is the blessing but look he that cometh to me Hebrews 11 6 he that cometh to me must believe huh? that he that cometh to God must believe that he is I don't need to see the blessing. I can't even tell you this is a blessing. The blessing is not the car, it's not the phone, it's not money. No, it's a something. I can't, I don't know whether it's, it's a spirit or something, but it's a very important thing. So how do I know you can't be blessed without faith? John chapter 20, verse 29. John 20, 21. Jesus, 29. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. But he says, look, blessed are those. So you you have never seen Jesus and you have believed. The Bible says, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. (laughs) Blessed are those who have not seen yet they have believed so you are higher than Thomas today because Thomas had to see to believe you hear people saying that seeing is believing Uh, that's a wild statement that's not a God statement God's statement is I have not seen but I believe yeah oh I will build a house where I don't know but I must build a house by God's help, I will do it. That is where we hear some people laughing at us, saying that we have a lot of uh, uh, my hopes, my hopes, my hopes, mawana. In Kikuyu means that my hopes saufala. They are going nowhere. You say we'll build a church, we'll build a cathedral. You'll see, a <coughs> you'll see, um. On the minute, state of the art, 21st century, modern, futuristic, cathedral, you will see it. And then, and then when you're saying that you're in a Mabati, and somebody's asking how, and God says, because of that, you are blessed. So what does a blessing do? Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. What does a blessing do? The blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow with it the education of University of Nairobi makes one rich and adds no sorrow with it LPOs from the government makes one rich and adds no sorrow is that what your Bible is saying? What is your Bible saying? The blessing, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich. Oh yeah, that is why you might look like you're doing nothing, but because of the blessing is on you, it maketh you rich without sorrow. Yeah, you can have riches with many sorrows. Lots of sorrows. Yeah. What is the benefit of, uh, of wealth that you can't eat? You can't enjoy it. Hmm? Yeah. You have been married. Marriage is supposed to be a nice thing. Yeah, I'm supposed to sit there and see my wife and say, wow. And enjoy. Not to see them and say, I'm, I'm, I'm unhappy. Yeah. Yeah. Or, <laughs> I'm unhappy. You're supposed to look at your children and say, wow, look at the blessing of the Lord. Yeah, you're supposed to look at your friends and say, wow, look at the blessings of the Lord. You're supposed to look at your food and say, wow, look at the blessings of the Lord. I can eat what I want. Yeah. 
Yeah. Look at Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. I'm talking about faith brings you into blessedness or into a blessed life. So the Bible says, trust in the Lord or have faith in the Lord. Put your trust in the Lord with all your heart, not half of your heart, all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Verse 6. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. What does that mean? It means you are blessed. To have your path directed. Are you listening to me? It is amazing. It's a blessing. Yeah, to be directed, it means you are secure. And it means you have speed. Yeah, no time wasting. But when your paths are not directed, you are guessing. You are guessing. Should I should I study this or should I what should I do? Should I be a cameraman or should I be a should I marry this one or this one or this one or the other this one? Do you understand? You have no direction, so you lack speed, so you fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, you fall into the wrong hands. And after salvation and after knowing your purpose in life, the next important thing is who marries you or who do you marry? My God. Number four. Number four. Am I preaching or you don't like it? Ah, this is beautiful. Faith makes, I'm talking about what faith can do. If you, are, if you have just joined us, I'm talking about what, what if you make your life a life of faith, what will faith do for you? What, how will it change your life? It will change your life, number four, by making impossible situations become possible. Faith makes impossible situations become possible. When you look at your life, you can see the impossibilities of your life. Oh yeah, you can see. You can see in your life, nobody has ever gotten married. Yeah. Or they start and they stop. You can see in your life, nobody has ever served the Lord. You can look, just look at your lineage. Look at your lineage. You can, you know your, your impossibilities in your lineage. You can see the difficulties in your lineage. Nobody, even up to now, your father lives in a rented house. Up to now. So you can see that for you to have a house, it's part of the impossibilities of your family. Difficulties. Look, look at your life, you, you see. So what can change this impossible situation to become possible is your faith in God. Your faith, in, not your faith in yourself, your faith in whom? In God. Mark chapter 9 verse 23. Mark chapter 9 verse 23. Look at this. Jesus said to him, if you can believe. I mean, if you just can believe. Sister in the house, brother, if you can believe, it's not by force. But if you can just believe, then he says, all things are possible to him who believes. you can just have faith then all things not some things all 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 what am I what, what am I what am I saying all all finances kilakindo all things maudumove mambo yote yawezekana you say it in the French? All things. Tout chose possible. Hey, come here. We we'll give him a microphone. What? All things are possible. Tout chose est possible. 
Wait, wait, wait. Two shores. Two shores. Two shores. A possible. A possible. A possible. A possible. A possible. Two shores. A possible. Yes. Kaba Shadaya. If we can only believe, you can be turned into a pauper. From a pauper to a rich man. You can be turned into a barren woman, to a woman who is full of children. You can be turned into an impossible situation, from an impossible situation to a possible situation. If only you can believe. If you believe you can, oh, you can own an aircraft. I'm preaching. Most Kenyans don't own aircraft. No. No, 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 no. Most Kenyans don't own, they own parcels and vids. If you put the number of parcels and vids and, uh, and uh, pro box and um, all these small, small vehicles that bring problems on the road and border border, many Christians believe in that. But you can, you can be blessed to buy a car without loans that, and without stealing and to own homes without stealing and to become a landlord without stealing the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich. It is something that has never been seen in your family. But because you believe, all things are possible. Shores a possible to shoot impossibilities. Mark 15 28. Look at that. Mark 15 28. Actually, I'll finish with this point because of time. Mark 15 28. Because I don't want the guys who count bundles to fall off. As I'm preaching, God is going to speak to somebody to sow a special seed. You see, the amens go down when you hear such things. You, 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 you must trust God and say, look, I'm moving into the realm of faith. I'm going to give something strong that my finances will never go down again. Look at Mark 15, 28. So the scripture was fulfilled, which says, and he was number, no, did I say Mark 15, 28? Mark 15, 28. He was numbered with that. No, 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 I don't, I don't, no, 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 no. 11. I think 11. Look for 11, 28. Ah, no. Okay, let's go to Luke 1, 37. I don't know why I wrote that one impossible situations impossible situations are becoming possible look at that can we read it together one two three the Bible says for with God oh you're not reading with me for with God nothing will be what impossible why don't we believe these scriptures huh? Joe why can't we believe these scriptures for with God nothing Nothing, not building, not uh, uh, sickness, nothing will be impossible. So when you begin to walk by faith, you enter into the realm of moving impossibilities into possible. Yeah. Yeah. When we were coming to buy this land, it was around 50 some, I think 60 million when I started negotiating. I had zero 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 million and i was negotiating I, actually one of the, the, the actually the guy who was selling to us he looked at me and, at some point and said i said i'm serious i'm buying the property yeah zero and in four years we had paid it off yeah off little by little yeah me i've not seen those filthy rich people in my church but they are going to become 
you are going to become a filthy rich man. One day you will be holding one project by yourself. You'll be saying, I'm the one building, I'm the one building the, the cathedral in Nakuru. Yeah, I'm, I'm me, it's my project. So I put my fundis, you just tell me the design. I put fundis, I've put, everything is on me. I'll have those people here, you'll see. With God, one, one yeah, one million dollars. You put one million dollars into the thing. Yeah, believe it. For with God, with your education, it is impossible. With your family background, impossible. With your, with your, with your, it is impossible. With your, with your, with your, with your uncles in America, with the government, it's impossible. But when it comes to God, nothing. The one who made the heavens, the stars, the sun, and the moon. Huh. Yeah, with God. So when you become a man of faith, you walk in, you move in the impossible. You move in the possible realm. The realm of things that you never thought would be possible, they become possible. Can I show you another possible thing that happened? Matthew 14, 25. And then I want us to give now. If you want to move into the realm of the imp where the impossible becomes possible. Now look at this. Today, I will not address the failure of Peter. I'll address the faith of Peter in this story where he walked on the water. The Bible says now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them. Walking on the sea. First of all, that's impossible. How can you walk on the sea? Unless you're a ghost, that's supernatural. So he was coming, walking on the sea. And the sea was, there were waves. Huh? And he was walking. Jesus. Superman. The same thing is coming on you. You are doing impossible things. Things that they said they are not possible, you will do them. Things that they thought you will sink in, you are going to walk on them. Yeah. <laughs> I remember some orangos when they were leaving our church, they said that they, we will not be able to finish paying for this place. They were leaving. Yeah. Some of them are even watching us now. When they were leaving, they thought we would collapse. They thought we were going to sink. But rather we were walking on the water by faith. They say that the cloud has left. But they don't know that our faith is not in man. Our faith is in God. Look, I want you to enlarge your thinking, enlarge your faith, enlarge your vision. Because you are about to walk on things that are supposed to sink you. And Jesus has had to walk on it so that all of us can see that impossible things can be possible. So that is what happened, verse 26. Verse 26. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled. Yeah, you are about to trouble some people. Oh, I feel like preaching in here. You are about to trouble some people. Me, my life has always troubled some people. They are troubled. They are always troubled. How does that guy do it? They say it is Illuminati. One time a guy was standing on the road here, stopping people and saying, that church is Illuminati. I didn't even know what was Illuminati at that time. They said Illuminati. That means that we worship the devil. I mean, how can you believe that the devil can bless people with money or give people money more? More. More than the God of our salvation. Hey, may you perish with your Illuminati. I said, may you perish with your Illuminati. Yeah, those same people, they pass here, they see the building is coming. And this is our first building of over a thousand buildings that we are going to build for Jesus. For Jesus! Because we believe in Jesus strongly. We believe in the work of God strongly. So the disciples were troubled. It is COVID-19 season. These people have fundis everywhere. They were troubled. Churches are not receiving offerings. But these people, they are now erecting another sanctuary. We are there at 
at TGL, we are putting up a huge sanctuary <laughs> with cranes. Troubling. Because when we are supposed to be sinking, we are rather walking. Starting tonight, you will walk on what was supposed to sink. You people, you don't know how I'm feeling, like jumping or running or something. I don't know whether you can feel it at home. Then look at this, verse 27. That is why I like God. I like God. Anybody who attempts great things for God, God is always inviting yeah, Jesus spoke to them saying, hey, 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 relax, be of good cheer. It is I, don't be afraid. It is God, I'm the one moving, don't be afraid. Then, look at this guy, 20 what? 28, Peter answered. He answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, do you understand, this is a believer. <laughs> if it is you, command me to come to you on the what I want to also do an impossible thing yeah command me to also do what you're doing if it is you a lot of a lot of faith people say Lord if it is you make me do this and let make me do that yeah say if it is you let me walk on water like you I want to also step on the water then guess what Jesus did verse 29 he said come come I want to finish with that come <laughs> do you want a supernatural life come do you want the impossible to become possible come come and meet our God come and meet our Jesus you see he would have just sat in the boat but there is always a corresponding action for men of faith do you want to walk in supernatural wealth? Come. Yeah. Do you want to, to, to be somebody who's walking in, in, in wealth that you don't understand? Like you, you can't tell people, like you can't explain. You can't explain how you got that job. Come. Just do what is the action that needs to be done. Come. Pay your tithes. Step out of the boat. Leave the crowd alone. I'm sure everybody was telling Peter, don't go, don't go. Well, hey, have you ever seen it? Hey, don't go. You'll sink, you'll sink. The Bible says, and when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Stop there. He started walking on the water, going to Jesus. A normal, ordinary man like you and I, somebody who's even going to deny Jesus a few uh, days from then he is not walking on the water he's doing something supernatural he's doing an impossible situation an impossible thing something that has never been done I've tried it before it didn't work I was in Mombasa and I said in the morning I was praying I said Lord today I want to also walk on this water yeah but the Lord told me you might not walk on this water but you're walking on other waters and you will not sink you will not sink you will do things that are considered impossible and you will not sink walking on the water guess what there is a call to you today come somebody shout come oh you are you're not saying it with strength and gusto say come that's the call come out of an ordinary life come out of an ordinary life come out of a natural life come out come out come and, and walk on something that you could not walk on before yeah when it comes to money if you want to walk an ordinary a, a, an extraordinary life you must become a giver you must become a tither when it comes to to to, to supernatural doings you, if you want to build you must start to build oh but I don't have money if you have the land go and negotiate whatever start it's not in the kingdom of God it doesn't start by provision it starts by vision because God is only committed to take care of the vision 
that he has given to you. When I was, my vision to marry, I had zero shillings. 10,000 10, shillings. And do, do you know what happened? When I told God I want to get married, and this is my budget, he said, come. Do you know what was a come? Sow your 10,000, the money you have. Sow it as a seed. I said, hey! I remember calling Pastor, but she was in, uh, I went to Simia Jami. Many of you don't know of Simia Jami. You were born the other day. I went to Simia Jami. I called Pastor Masi. She, she had a phone. I didn't have a phone. My beloved, I said, the Lord has spoken to me to sow my, the 10,000 I was saving for the wedding. He said, let's do it now. Go and do it now. I took my 10,000. I took it to Bishop David. I said, this is my seed for my wedding. He said, oh, God bless you. And I left. Within a week, we, I, I we left without money. Not even just the fare I have. You people, if you want to be in the life of supernatural, you must be mad and crazy. So Jesus told Peter, come. Come. Can you see the guy coming out of the boat? And then you can see Akina John saying, hey, brother. You see, now many of these are your, even your parents, even your parents can be these people. They're always afraid of you stepping into something that is risky. How will you be eating? How will you be whatever? I don't care. God will take care of us. And I'm here to tell somebody, God will take care of us. He will take care of us. He will take care of us. Shamaya Dabaya. Is it working? Is it, is it working? It's working. It started working. Wow. When I was sowing my car, my first car, as a seed, some people who love me, they love me. They were saying, hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Who does that? Too soon. You sure you people this faith of yours what is this yeah think twice and i gave it yesterday i drove into my parking and i said lord you mean all this is mine Please, let's give an offering. I can, I'm, I'm about to go mad right now. The man was walking. Now, to this morning, I am calling you. Come. Come into a life of faith. Come. Yeah. Come into a life of faith. I want to give you, you to give your normal offering. Give your normal offering. Give your tithe now. Hallelujah. Which is that song you want to play? Hallelujah. Hmm? A faithful song. Full of faith. One who made the blind to see. I want you to give now. It's I'm waiting for you to give now. It's moving here in front. To the life of the supernatural. So I want you to give now. You can go off, give, and then come back. I want to tell you something else. I believe in you. You're the God of miracles. I believe in you. I believe in you. Come on, 
give, give, give. I'm waiting for you to give. shifting my finances over the years just because of my giving I'm telling you so I want everybody giving so you can fall off and give give what you can but I want to take a special offering as you're giving now I want to take a special offering now I want people who can pledge money and give this week and I'm and you're going to write a text to the number that is on your screen now and tell them this is my pledge I want you to pledge and I want you to name your pledge you know name it like either you want financial something whatever it is that you feel you want to believe God for. I want you to believe God for that so I want you to name your pledge and I, we are giving towards our building we are giving towards our building amen we are giving towards our building but I want you to pledge I want people who can pledge 50,000 and above 30,000 and above 10,000 and above yeah 50,000 and above just write a text or call the number somebody's waiting to receive your call now and say I want to pledge this amount and then they're they're going to ask you how do you intend to pay it do you want to deposit it in the account do you want to use the pay bill and all that and we are giving towards the building so I want people who can pledge 10,000 and above 5,000 and above 3,000 and above a thousand and above and give in this course of this week and let it be a faith gift faith gift like I'm believing God that I will do what is impossible in our family I will do what is impossible in our family as I build God's house this is not money to me it's for the building of God's house like you believe in the building of God's house yeah so that we can push it further father we want to push it further so I want you to give now or to pledge now you're saying I want to pledge 50,000 and above you have to say it you have to say it so that we can know you can know some of you are saying oh I'll pledge but I'll not say saying is also faith yes. saying that I'll give a hundred thousand I'll give 200 I'll give a million shillings that is also faith you'll be surprised yeah so I want you to send a text to the number put the number right there let it stay there for the pledge you write for pledging for pledging call or text this number now we are waiting for you to do it I'm about to close I'm about to close and this week <clears throat> step out Amen. by faith Amen. step out by faith Amen. yeah so I want you to pledge towards the building 50 a hundred a million whatever I know God has given me millionaires you will be giving in millions of dollars not even Kenya shillings yeah for God's work oh yeah I've not even asked you to give for me no 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 for God's work believe in God's work ha! and do it so I'm waiting for you to send your pledge 20,000 10,000 50 100 uh, 5,000 believe 
and do it. I'm a master. If I give, how will I survive? You watch. Watch. I'm telling you, God will never ever fail you. Amen. No, He'll never fail you. Oh, He has never failed before. Oh, yeah. So I want you to pledge. And this this new series is going to usher us into the life of supernatural. Yeah. This new series will usher us into a life of the impossible becoming possible. This new series will usher us into what was the next point? A life, a life of blessedness. A life of blessedness. Salvation. Yeah. Salvation. Yeah. Access to the supernatural. Aya. Kabadosha. Yes, I believe it. Please, I want to close. So I'm waiting for you to pledge. And then I want to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for every believer. Who's watching me. Their faith has been dormant. You have sent me to start it up. You have called me and sent me here to start up the gift. Start up the gift. The gift of faith that is in them. Thank you. Father, I pray as they give from today, it will not be a, a religious giving. It will be not just a giving that they give religiously. It will be faith-based giving. Faith-based. The Lord, I'm sowing seeds. I'm giving into, into this part of my life. I want God to come through for me in this part of my life. Bless the tithers. It, it takes faith to pay your tithes. May God bless you as you pay your tithes. Father, as they pledge, cause them to be a river of life. Cause them to be a river of life. Let money come through them. Let uh, jobs come through them. In the name of Jesus, let them ooze with life. In the name of Jesus. If you have something supernatural you're believing God for, you must pledge. I'm telling you, you're believing God for something supernatural. I am also going to sow a seed. I'm not even going to sow it in our project. I'm going to sow it in, in a higher place for us because I want more churches and more buildings. Yeah, I'm also going to sow a seed. When you sow the seed, I'll also gather the seed and also sow the seed somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, because me, I believe in, the, in those things completely. Yeah, so Father, thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I want to pray for somebody who wants to give their life to Christ. You are saying, I want to receive salvation by faith. Repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For dying for me. For dying for me. Today. Today. I believe. I believe. You are the savior of the world. The savior of the world. Save my soul. Save my soul. Heal my soul. Heal my soul. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From today. From today. I am born again. I am born again. Write my name. Write my name. In the book of life. In the book of life. I am born again. I am born again. Amen. Amen. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Now, if you are that prayer I want you to also call there are some numbers that will show up there you can even text and say I've given my life to Christ I need to talk to someone and somebody is going to call you and talk to you and your life will never be the same again I'm telling you never ever ever never ever ever be the same again be the same again I will never be the same, same again your hands to 
towards me father i believe with everybody who needs healing receive your healing who needs provision receive your provision now who needs divine help receive divine help this week this week expect a miracle from god by faith it is possible in the name of jesus christ may god bless you as you wait on the lord as you believe in the lord and as you expect a miracle may that miracle locate your home now in the name of jesus i will never be the same again have a good afternoon god bless you and see you on tuesday i could never